And what's going on, everybody? Welcome to here we are, Platinum Edition Farming Simulator 17. Uh, this channel was completely built and uh, streamed and everything live streamed all on Farming Simulator 17 a year ago. So we're coming very close and encroaching on our year. Uh, a year to date on YouTube here with uh, FTG and Full Tilt Gaming. So welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome to the channel here. Welcome to the video. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's informative. Uh, I hope it just lets you know what you need to do, what you need to expect out of the new Platinum Edition expansion for Xbox, PS4, and PC. Uh, it's a doozy. It's a big one. Uh, for a Platinum expansion, it's pretty good. A lot of vehicles, a lot of equipment. There's a lot of stuff in there for everybody. So let's break down into it. I'm actually sitting on top of the power pole here, just getting a nice overview here uh, of all of our equipment here and tractors. And we've got pallets for sugarcane. So as you know, this brings in sugarcane uh, harvesting, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a new crop. It's a new day. Uh, and we might get copyrighted on that song reference. But anyway, yes, so here we go. So we've got Star Brand makes its way into Farming Simulator 17. So all of these are color changeable except for the tractors, of course. But all your trailers and stuff, we've got different forms of different tippers. We've got multiple road train styled tippers uh, that go along with this new harvesters. Here's the new smaller. This is a regular field harvester, just like what we've always had in the game. These are more of your standard issue item stuff here. Cultivators, we've got cultivators with cedars. We've also got... Uh, plow cultivator, what we call cultiplows. Uh, and these also have the same, uh, this one right here, of course, has the tanks on top. So they can be filled and you can actually cultivate and plow and do a few other things in there, depending on what your game style and game choice and game, uh, your game play is. Now the other thing is, we got the, uh, the, the, is that the vehiculo longo? So that it's a long vehicle uh, tag there from South America. Well, let's see how my Spanish was on that one. But anyway, these can be attached. You've got the semi version, and then you've got basically a, a tandem, a pup trailer that follows it, although it's the same size. Uh, and then you've got three different sizes of tippers. So depending on how you want to start the game off, whether you start off with the small equipment, work your way up, or whether or not you just jump right in there and go grab the big stuff. Uh, all of this are connectable, so you can connect everything uh, together. So um, let me throw this out there before we get too far with our equipment here in our map overview. Uh, one other thing, if you want to see this on live stream, I will be live streaming Platinum Edition today as well. So maybe if you're checking this video out, maybe go check and see if I'm live streaming. Uh, I know as of today, which is Monday, I will be live streaming this on Monday night as well as Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night uh, as well, respectively. So just keep that in your uh, in, in your schedule of events there. All right, so carrying on here, we've got uh, the nice case. Now, this is probably the flagship of what everyone's really excited about and excited to see. Uh, so we've got the case harvester here. This is sugar cane, so it is a topper, a harvester. Uh, almost works uh, identically to silage. Uh, so it's got a bunch of animated moving parts here. When you see this thing fired up here on the farm, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, you've got your exit uh, you've got your exit tube right here, and then you've got everything else runs up the conveyor. It drops down into your respective tipper. Uh, but the worker would work this, and you'll work the tractor and the tipper. You can't really do both. And as of now, you can buy this with a tipper end, so it does have the, the actual connection that you can buy and put on the harvester. But we cannot uh, actually get that to work yet. So maybe that comes out in an update. Maybe something's wrong. Maybe I'm not doing something. We'll just have to see. Uh, but at any rate, you will eventually be able to tow something behind it so that you can do that all in one fell swoop and just be able to tow the tractor behind you like we can with some of our silage machines. So uh, so that's that. Now, that's uh, two rows. So two rows of sugar cane get harvested up at a time. Uh, and then this is the one row. So this is your tractor pull. Uh, this one will be pulled off the tractor. It does spin just like our normal uh, tractor pull silage cutters same way except this one does one row at a time you may ask what's a row what's a two row so one row is one meter <laughs> and the two row is two meter um so that's that's the name of the game for this one. it's going to be a fairly small swath but i'll tell you what they make up with uh with with the cheapness of the crop and the resellability and what they make up with that is in the quantity you get a huge amount of sugar cane uh comes out so you're gonna be making lots of trips to a beautiful sugar cane and sugar mill factory uh, and now, now we get into some of our regular stuff. Now, this is just for the guys that really aren't going to be all that interested in sugarcane. These will be some new inventory items that you'll be able to use on your fields anywhere, in your farms, anywhere. Any modded map, any anything, even if it doesn't have sugarcane, you can still use these. So now we've got the Im Imperador, or the Imperador. I think that's probably what it is, the Imperador. Uh, and this is a granular and uh, liquid harvest, uh, not harvest, but a fertilizer machine so you know we got the new holland in there as well uh this just adds in 
uh, the ability to do granular and choose what you want to do. Capacity is not the hugest, but uh, what makes up when you run out of fertilizer on the liquid side, you can pop in some granular, take care of the rest of the field if you need to, or you can refill it and do whatever you need to do on that front. So it's pretty good. Uh, then we've got the big old argo wagon. Now, this is towable. This is uh, basically takes care of every single crop that you have minus sugarcane. So everything fits in here, but it is a very nice, it comes in a couple of different standard and wide wheel uh, variants in there. So nice part of the star brand here. Now here's the couple of the, this is the big daddy. I, I like these. I like getting the field seeded pretty quick, but this is the Estrella 32 or 32. So here it is, the Starta uh, 32. So this is a, I think, 14 meter seeder. This seeds pretty much everything, and like like the uh, like most of our other bigger seeders, minus your corn, sugar beets, those kinds of things. So it takes care of all of our normal standard crops here with FS17. And also we've got a couple of smaller versions of that. So we've got a nice little tractor pull here. And now this is one of our tractors also that you get uh, part of the uh, Platinum expansion. Here's the Massey Ferguson 4700. Uh, and this is the four, I guess you call this four thousands. We've got the five, the six, the seven, and the eight series here with uh, our regular Massey Ferguson contracts with FS17. Now they bring in the 4000 series, so a little open top there tractor. So it does come with the front loader as well. So if you want to have that for your smaller stuff around the farm, it's a pretty cool tractor. I like it. It's uh, it's small, it's compact. It gets into pretty much any crack or crevice that you need it to. And then you've got the, uh, the Master 3570. So this is a little smaller. Uh, and all these are all separated. So these all go into your uh, sewing machines. Uh, you've got cultivators on the other side. Plows get their own uh, deal. And then all the sugar cane, we'll pull up the store here. All the sugar cane gets its own uh, stuff in here. So everything under the sugar cane harvest, here you go. So we're going to look at the cedars next, but this is where everything's bought. Everything's fairly what you would expect. Price-wise, uh, it's nothing too crazy. Um, so if you are doing a legit style game uh this will certainly benefit you and certainly play into that that uh let me go over here and just do these two things now the black track here the massey ferguson is a mod that i have it's just because I, I like the black edition but what i was showcasing here is that we do have sugar cane um sugar cane uh pallets now there's the pallets of seeds just like potatoes so sugar cane kind of almost reacts the same in the game as potatoes so you harvest it but the cool thing is is you can use the seeds that you harvest and put those right back into it. So whatever you've got in the tipper trailers, you can take and dump those right back into your cedars and almost have a, a complete all the time supply of seed. Uh, and you can store that seed on the ground. You can sell that seed, you know, right off the bat. You can sell it, you know, the sugar cane, sell it to the mill, uh, and a lot of other really cool things. So uh, here is the one of the, this is the bigger tractor. Now we've got the ST Max with the Star Max 180. That's 100 horsepower. Now the the back hitch there is just a mod that I have that I like. I, I like running that around. It doubles as a weight, um, but we do have a weight here on the front as well. Uh, it does not have the three point options on the front, so all you have is the weight on the front with a little pin hook there to pull a trailer, uh, pull a ring hook anyway, I should say. And then you've got the back three point attachment and all the trailer attachments you would expect with any of the other stuff. Let's just hop in here. Uh, let's take a look inside the uh, the cab here. So you've got a couple of nice things. I don't think anything in here is really animated. You don't have internal control, but it's still a good solid tractor here. We'll go ahead and fire it up. You do have new sounds with everything, so. Uh, that's nice to see. All right, so we'll pull out of there, <clears throat> and let's uh, let's do one other thing. Let's go ahead. Let's let's, let's jet over here. Let's uh, let's fire this up. I meant to do this, and I thought people might would enjoy seeing some of this. There you go. So very 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 cool. Track completely spins on a dime, so it's gonna be really easy. To get in and out of the fields making your turns at the end like i said it is two meters but it's a very quick two meters so uh, i think you're going to like that machine I, it's 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 a good one i, I like especially when we pull in these specialized equipment the beet harvest the potato harvest i mean those things just look like something out of a mad max film except they're not colored black but that's about it all right so here we go here's the smaller one uh, now this is the SC Max 105. Now this is a smaller. It does come with double twins. Comes with wide tires. A couple different tire variants. Nothing else fancy on it. But it does have the same exact inside as the others. As you can see, it's typical modeling from Giant's team. Uh, the engines and all the filters and the hydraulic lines and everything is modeled on the side of the engine. It is a fantastic model. So if that's your key, that's the things you like to see. You're going to love those two addition tractors. Now uh, the big thing here is our cedars. Now these these are our these are only for sugarcane. Can't play anything else with them uh, unless one modder at some point comes in and figures out how to do it. But anyway, here is 
all of the cedars we have in the game. So the 80-22, uh, this is one of the bigger, uh, this does have both. So this will have fertilizer. This will also have, all these have fertilizer and seed. So you get the one stage plus the seeding all in one go of it. And you'll have two ears. Now we've got three different ones, two of which only have one meter seeding capacity. So this right here, uh, you'll see there in the bottom there, we've got a, uh, a main cultivator V, uh, plow V. So it'll pull a, a big V in there, and then it'll drop that seed in there. And then at some point back here, uh, you'll see the disc wheels will basically cover it back up. Kind of like, a, you know, open up the hole, and then it'll throw all the seed, and then we'll close everything back down, just like they do in potatoes. It's kind of the same idea. Um, so this one does have, it'll fertilize everything on the seed before it drops it in, which is kind of nice. All that's purely animated, which you'll see in the live streams uh, as well. I don't do a lot of production videos, so make sure you come check out one of those live streams. We're going to be featuring every single bit of this stuff Monday afternoon. Um, and then this is the two rows. So this one is about uh, 18,000 capacity, uh, and it has got a huge amount of storage in this thing. So fertilizer and seed all storage. And it works the exact same way, except basically take two of these and then you had twins and you joined them together that's pretty much what you got so this is a pretty decent one uh not expensive and then this one is another cool one now this one's still got the same uh, exact look to it but it's got these huge vats on the side uh for storage and the way it runs all this stuff in because the cool thing about this one is that you can you can load everything back in so uh all of these you can load with the tippers and that's these over here. So all three of these have the coolest animation. And I would be amiss if I did not show you guys the animation. Because this might be, for some people, might be the thing that sells the Platinum Edition uh, on it. So I've got a joystick here that I use as my front-end loader. I've got duels uh, for the, the Ponzi uh, Scorpion King and all that. You can do logging in this. Although we don't have that set up because it's all still the same standard equipment. Uh, but we'll back up here to this one over here. And let's see if we can uh, get it to attach up. Oh, you know what? I tell you what. Let's let's uh, let's chunk this off. Forgot this is mainly for our back weight. So, let's uh, let's move this off. I almost forgot about that. There we go. All right, now we can do it. So we'll spin around here and let's uh, tell you what. We're gonna be in better line for this middle one right here. So we got three different sizes, three different capacities. They all can be road trained together. So if you're uh, you know looking for that big old road train down to the sugar mill, uh, that's gonna be able to give it to you. So let's get on the outside here. Let's get a good look at it. So, just like your front end loader control, this thing will go up. And then this is how you'll load your semis. It's, I mean, any tipper that you want to. Uh, and then, like you would open up your uh, claw, then you take it and you dump it right on over. So, there you go. Now, this also can be mouse control. I believe this is a mouse control animation, just like your front-end loader. So, whatever you've got, whether you're on controller, this will operate the exact same as your front-end loader. So, it comes down and you can control them all at the same. You can go pretty fast. I was just kind of milking that animation there for a bit. But yeah, so, I'm pull off the other side. And no matter how tall it is, if you just need to, if you basically just need to come over here and just dip it into the cedar, well, you do that. Now, the same goes for the other two machines as well. So, all three of these tip the exact same way. We'll go ahead and uh, turn that off and hop out. So, all of our semi-trailers here, they all tip the exact same way as well. They can be road trained together. I'm not sure how many. I guess how many ever you can pull. Uh, you can do, like I said, the seeds there. So, I'll tell you what. Let's do one quick thing uh, as, we're, as we're kind of doing a, a finish up here on this. Now, in my live streams here, I'm probably not going to do much production video when it comes to... Uh, actually work on the farm i know me and raptor got together so if you guys see him on the top uh go click his name go check out his latest farm sim especially uh our showcase and as well as us farming i went in it was just me and raptor doing it it was awesome I had a, a fantastic time so i appreciate him giving me an opportunity to come in there and do some recording with him as well so make sure you go check that out uh and as I said well let's do this let's go ahead real quick uh, and let's go check out a few things. Um, let's go down. We'll go down the cow pasture here. I'm going to turn my speed up just a hair so we can move around the map just a little faster. Uh, and then we'll actually give you a bird's eye views of everything. And we do have a mod called Creator Tool that allows us to kind of zip around the map here pretty quick. So it makes first looks absolutely amazing. Uh, so here is your main cow pen. You've got your silage trays over there. Uh, your main barn. Now the one thing is you'll find that it is very short on storage. That is maybe not necessarily a dig at the game but it very short storage storage uh there's just not a lot out here 
Uh, so if you have modded buildings, you have stuff like that. But if you're on PC or even uh, the Xbox PS4, you guys have got some battlements there that you can use uh, for your storage. And you'll find another subset of stuff. I've cleaned off the farm because I've actually got another profile that all this stuff is working. So a lot of this already comes with some decent uh, stuff from the sugarcane harvest. So if you buy the platinum, when you get this new map here, this is uh, Estancia uh, La Pancho, I believe is the name of this map. Uh, you will have some default stuff already from Platinum. You won't have anything from the standard game, which is kind of cool. You'll get all the brand new stuff. It'll all be there and be usable for you. Uh, now, here is your main uh, your main storage here for your silo bins. Uh, so pretty nice. All that's new. All that's kind of customized. Uh, and you've got your same slurry and manure pits there in here. So once you come in, now the coolest thing apart this, I uh, will be pulling down this road right here. This is nice. This is your main drive. Then it does split off between fields and everything else you got over there with cows. And here is your main, uh, your main house. Um, so you are fairly a successful, <laughs> you're a successful uh, farmer already established here in South America. So you can go inside the house. So if you like that kind of thing, it's all there. Uh, you got a, a slamming pool here in the back with nice, pretty crystal, pristine, a pristine crystal blue water balconies and all the ivy and all the all the bells and whistles. Even a nice little barbecue on the backside there. So. Uh, nice, cool to see. Let's pull up uh, real quick here. Let's pull up the main. Uh, now you see most of the fields here are fairly small, but you can do everything here. So it's multi fruit, sugar cane, all the way down to silage to everything else. Uh, it's very, very, very quick. So let's just. I'm gonna go ahead and skirt across the field here. This won't take long at all. Does have a nice, a couple of nice scenery things. Now one thing besides biogas. Besides the main pig farm, we've got sheep. We've also got pigs. We've also got lumber. So all these palm trees that you see, I guess they're palm or coconut trees, uh, every single bit of those can be taken down. There's a lot of ridges here that have lots of trees on them. They can all be harvested and taken and sold off with the Scorpion King to the lumber yard. So all that can. So we've got a nice little, small little, uh, I wouldn't say small, but it's a fairly big size uh, silage uh, bins here. And we also got a nice new loading area. So this is not your typical standard, you know, got to run up and dump it in. So I'm not sure if it will accept a trailer dump, but I'm kind of assuming that maybe if you bring it in here um, and you've loaded it up on a conveyor belt into something, you can convey her straight into here if that's your thing, or if you want to do it with a trailer. So you do have an in and out on both sides. This map does also feature a train uh it is a kind of old and there it is so it's a little bit of a oldie goldie train does have a very cool inside so if trains is the name of your game uh it's not too bad uh you know some people will definitely like the train some some won't and that's completely fine uh all right so let's do this let's go ahead now we're at our main elevator here let's uh let's bring our our listing back up here let's go let's go check out the sheep right quick so we'll go visit the sheep pasture here we are so this is a nice little area here. Not It does have a water tower. Now, whether or not you can actually fill up here, I do not know. Uh, that's the, a couple of things. The animal care here for the map we have not completely dove into. Uh, so we'll just have to double check on that. Uh, cool thing is the transport company, all that bridge you see there, that's what the train actually rolls up on. So you have some very, very, very beautiful scenic views there riding around the train on the map. So uh, it is good. It is good. So you got your main barn here. Got your main feed trays, your water trays, all the things you'd expect there with sheep. No storage out here, so it may be something on the backside. The only thing is, is when you put those stuff down, you will lose uh, everything here. The, the bushes will not go away. So you'll lose the grass, but you won't lose the bushes. So it may take someone coming in and editing some of this stuff. If that's your thing and you know how to do that, it might be something you could do um, out, on, on the outside of that. So let's go check out picks. There will be next on the map here. Estancia La Pancho, I believe is the name of this one. This is our new uh, new DLC Platinum DLC pig lot here. So actually is relatively small. It's kind of what you'd expect. I would expect the pig lot to be uh, kind of just mucky and just kind of, you know, it's got that got that dirt look to it. Um, so you got your, your typical manure and your slurry spreads. Uh, and then you've got your, your pig pen here in the middle. Uh, I guess they walk around in there. I don't know yet. We're, we're still breaking into that. Um, and then you've got all everything else you would uh, unload zones here, uh, and then you've got your your uh, your pig food. So everything's there. Uh, you'll be able to pull in some really nice, cool views like this, and nice, cool uh, little little side bridges here. The water features in the middle of the map are fantastic. They did a good job with those. You got a main main river that runs right through the middle of everything. Um, let's check out one other place. Uh, so make sure I get everything. So we got pigs, sheep. Uh, we'll go ahead and just visit the lumber yard real quick. So this is your standard issue, uh, but it does have all the sale points that you can expect. It does have some nice scenery as well, putting all the uh, the loads over here. Now, 
the cool thing is is the train can be loaded up with all of the stuff that we we anticipate with so you can do the crane control here you can also do a quick offload if you've got trailers that dump so you do not have to use the crane but if you really like using the crane then it's there for you to use now byproducts does not produce any it's just a bring in and sell just like it is with any other deal it just has some more nice uh features for the scenery wood chip sell as well is there also uh now let's go down to the main sugar mill because this will be the place that i think a lot of people will enjoy seeing so let's um i'll tell you what let's let's do a main transport so i'm going to use the tardis tool which is inside of the mod hub and we're going to just uh put ourselves right down here there we go so here is your main pull into uh the sugar mill so whichever way you're coming in so there you go. So the CAP refinery, and I believe this one says same thing. So you'll pull in this wonderful, wonderful rock road, uh, and you'll uh, you'll pull into the sugar mill. It's got a lot of custom sounds in here as well. Uh, so your main dump area will be right here. So this is where all of your seed gets stored, and then it goes and washes, and then the mill processes. It's just a sell point. So that it doesn't really produce any kind of a byproduct. But the good thing is, and the people say, well, why have all this big stuff here with without nothing to go on? The, the cool thing is that it, this opens it up for modders to really go crazy. So now they can produce maps with these same things, but actually use and have to use byproducts of the sugar to go take to other places. So it becomes more of a production style map. So adding in sugarcane adds in more tools for those modders to get crazy on. So uh, hopefully as sugarcane opens up, it'll open up new mods on PS4 as well as Xbox and PC, of course. So uh, you got a nice, uh, nonetheless, a very nice side road to kind of pull out uh, here and hit back down on the road there to your back to your farm or your fields wherever you're going now the other cool thing is a nice sell points here the harbor as well as the shipyard so you'll see a lot of ships out here uh, they they do they do have more than a couple out there which is a nice little uh, view of scenery so you'll have all your unloads down here uh, and you'll also have um, all of your stuff uh, I'm just trying to think here um, I think it's the bakery and spinnery are down here by the town area now the town really doesn't have anything except for the bakery there's nothing nothing in there that really would dictate you know hey i, I need to be down here doing lots of things it's more of a just kind of a a small little you know south american quaint little town uh there's not much going on there's pretty scenery beautiful textures on the buildings and that kind of thing um there we go so back here is our other sell point so your spinnery will be down here and then the bakery's on the other side of the town so uh, cool little areas to bring all of your stuff down, I think. Yeah, and then the baker will be over here. So you got beautiful scenery there, bridge. Although you cannot, uh, you cannot use it. Uh, and then once you come back up this way, you've got a couple little small fields on the other side. And you'll see a lot of these ridges, uh, and you'll see bridges across the water here. A lot of these ridges have trees that you can harvest on, uh, but most of this stuff is a little bit spread out in the map. So it's going to, it's going to cause you to have to go out and. Not really chase after the stuff, but it's going to cause you to have to go out there and do a little bit of exploring here on the map and uh, and find out where your stuff is. And maybe this time we can actually use utilize the train, have a good time with it. I you know I have not broke into that train yet, uh, but anyway, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's just a little bit of the map overview. Uh, as you can see, we are now in South America. It's got the red dirt. It's got everything else a part of it there. Uh, so aside from everything in the live streams coming up, we are going to be featuring lots. Of this equipment we're going to be pushing uh all of this stuff uh i will be able to give you complete full in reviews uh as material comes available as uh most of this stuff probably at some point may get a patch if we have an issue with something or something so i know i want to say there's something wrong with the harvester but that may just be the version that they've given us that by the time a release and the update happens uh those will be fixed we'll, we'll have to see i'll keep you in tune with that um, I would like to be able to see you be able to tow a, um, a trailer behind that just so you can drive the harvester as a single player. That would be very beneficial. Uh, but nonetheless, this is it. you got your regular stuff and all your sugar cane. All of the tippers, I did forget to say, are all color changeable. So every bit of this, if you've got a color scheme that you really want to start rocking uh, and your trailers all have certain colors, I mean, your tractors do, well, guess what? All your wheels are selectable. All your trailer colors are selectable as well. Uh, and everything else is the standard issue stuff. So... Anyway, guys, I hope you have uh, thoroughly enjoyed the video. I hope it's been somewhat informative for you. Uh, like I said, go up there uh, to the main page and click on that guy named Raptor. Uh, we have done a few videos together uh, just doing the early farming, doing some sugarcane farming. So don't go anywhere else. Go there. It was actually a lot of fun. It was
was just me and him on the farm, and it was I had an absolute blast. And a tip of the hat and a salute to him for allowing me and asking me to come do that with him as well. I had to do a little bit of farming uh, with him. So uh, it's always great to see. Uh, I always love it when people, you know, when they when they push each other and when they when they get out here on these on the, in any of these simulation games and include one another. It's so great. So thanks, man. Hopefully, once we get a, a nice little operation, we'll have Raptor here can come in and do a little farming and hang out with us on a live stream or something one evening. So uh, be looking for that. Also, if you're just uh, if you're here making it to the end of the video, do not forget hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, based on the 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 based on how this video does versus our live streams uh farming simulator 17 may come back into the mix again uh i just need to see that you guys want to see it so do your part there hit that like button hit that subscribe button say hey man i want to see some more farm sim i love it you do a good job with it i like it when you do multi whatever it is that you like that we've done here part of the channel please let me know I want to be that, uh, and I want the channel to be able to have that, because I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this and including this into our regular uh, regular plan of events here with the channel with Full Tilt Gaming. So anyway, guys, that is it for me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, hit that like and subscribe. Go check out Raptor. Don't forget that. And if I'm live streaming at this point and you're watching this video, do not forget. Go over there and hit that uh, button and come in there and say, Hey, we're actually going to be farming with all this. This is as of Monday. Today, it's going to go live. Uh, at least for us anyway, we're going to be able to start producing some content, do some live streams. So I hope you guys will join me. Come in and say, hey, it's going to be awesome. I'll be there to answer any kind of questions that you may have on it. I'll be able to also give you my, uh, you know, just my up, utmost honest regard on the DLC of whether or not you want to buy it. So maybe you want to save it for Christmas. And then I don't know. If Farm Sim does really good, maybe we can get our hands on... <clears throat> Maybe we can get our hands on some extra copies of the Platinum Edition. Uh, maybe we can do those as a potential giveaway here, just uh, celebrating a year with the channel, uh, with uh, Farming Simulator 17 being our original start and now into Platinum Edition one year later. So that is awesome. Uh, it kind of brings back a lot of nostalgia. So thanks to all you, you super chatters. Thanks to all the chatters out there in the live streams. Thanks to all the subscribers, sponsors of the channel as well, donations that were given, and, and guys that have come and viewed the videos Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. All Almost 7,000 of you at this point. Uh, so thanks. A big tip of the hat. A big salute to all you guys for the, all the uh, the continued support that you do. Uh, that's me. I'm uh, FTG Full Tilt Gaming. I'm out. We'll be in a live stream here in probably no more than an hour, hour and a half. And we hope to see you there. We'll see you guys.